we have some devastating news as Martin Pospisil has been injured after he was playing oh so well. While the Calgary Flames are not competing in the playoffs, we certainly know that at this point, the IIHF World Championships are going on and two Flames are representing their countries at this tournament. Andrew Mangiapane, who we will get quite a bit into in this video, and also the aforementioned Martin Pospisil for Team Slovakia. He's been having such a good tournament, but was unfortunately injured today. We will do a little injury update on him, and it really is devastating for him and for Team Slovakia. We'll get into all that and more in this video, but first, I want to welcome you to Flames Digest. I am Mark Griffith. If you're new around here and you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe, because less than 25% of the people watching are subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors revolving around the Calgary Flames, then make sure you join the fastest growing community of Flames fans on the internet. We would love to welcome you to the Flames Digest family. The support lately has been absolutely crazy, and I sincerely thank every single one of you guys for always supporting me and the channel and of course the Calgary Flames but let's get into this news here let's talk about the Pospisil injury and it's just really really too bad because Pospisil as we know he plays a certain type of game where it is more or he is more injury prone um, you know he plays with aggression with physicality and he's had so many injuries in the past especially concussions which is very very concerning you know that's the reason why he doesn't scrap drop the gloves and get into those tillies that a lot of people do want him to you know and maybe you know answer the bell from time to time if he is going to be throwing around these kinds of hits but as of today he did unfortunately get injured he almost got an injury earlier in this tournament against germany but instead he waited until later. No, it's not like it was his fault or anything, but let's get into this. Flames forward Martin Pospisil suffers potential injury at Worlds. I like here how it says potential injury. Um, I think the reason why it says potential instead of full injury is because he did skate off under his own power, but it will be very, very interesting to see if he does play more. Um, and this is from Wes Gilbertson of the Calgary Herald. So the 24-year-old Pospisil has been starring for Slovakia at the World Championship Tournament in Prague, but he made an early exit Tuesday after suffering an injury in a preliminary round matchup against Sweden. The spark plug forward was preparing to throw a hit on Victor Hedman, but appeared to lose his footing and crashed awkwardly into the end boards. He seemed to be favoring his shoulder as he left the ice so he did get off the ice under his own power and it is concerning when a player goes in to the boards awkwardly especially when it's an upper body thing and at first it looked like oh no is it his head did he go head first into the boards do we have another concussion problem here please no just for his sake um it's not head involved but now people are thinking it's most likely shoulder it could maybe be a collarbone it might be his back um original or initial uh, x-rays i should say holy i'm struggling initial x-rays did show that there was no fracture but he does have an mri tomorrow and of course i'll keep you updated on that in tomorrow's video um hopefully fingers crossed everything is okay there um let's continue this article here he has been a point per game guy at the worlds with three tallies and four helper helpers in seven appearances in group b action he has also won 54% of his faceoffs while auditioning as a center, which could be an intriguing option for the Flames in the future. I apologize for my struggling to speak right now. As you can see, this video is coming out later than they usually do. I have had a long, exhausting day, and it's clearly showing. But I do like that Slovakia has been trying him out at center. As we know as Flames fans, we would love it to get more centers. I know a lot of us want to draft one. He'll need to develop, so there's a chance Connor Zary could play at center. And now, thanks to Team Slovakia, there's a chance that Pospisil could see some time at center for the Flames this season, which is really, really cool. And the good thing about this injury, too, is obviously, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but there is a huge, huge chance that it really won't affect him at all going into the offseason and into the beginning of next season. Um, let's just have one last thing here. According to post-game reports, holy crap, I'm struggling. From those covering the international event, an x-ray revealed there was no fracture or dislocation. That is really good. No dislocation either. Further details should be known after an MRI on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Now into the playoff round, the Slovaks are set to face Andrew Mangiapane and Team Canada in Thursday's quarterfinals, which will most likely not include Martin Pospisil. But we shall see. It's funny that they those two teams did end up matching up against each other. And speaking of Andrew Mangiapane, let's get into some Mange quotes. Because it's actually pretty exciting here. 
it is somewhat unfortunate for Flames fans that it seems like Manjapani saves his best hockey for the World Championships once the Flames are already out of the playoffs. He's shown it in the past, and he is a, once again showing it this year at the IIHF World Championships. But he is getting along swimmingly with some of his teammates, and there are some very good quotes here. So let's get into this article by Aaron Vickers. He buzzes out there. Cousins, Bunting, rave about Manjapani tearing it up on the world stage. This is a quote here from Bunting. Monj is great. He buzzes out there and he's got good vision to be able to make plays and he can shoot the puck. It's fun to play with those two and I feel like our line brings a lot of offense and a lot of energy and we're pretty reliable out there. That is from Michael Bunting um, who has been of course playing with Manjapani and Dylan Cousins. Manjapani trioed up with Bunting of the Penguins and Cousins of the Sabres has picked up where he left off the last time he tugged on a Team Canada jersey logging six points in seven games to help guide his group to a first place finish in Group A in preliminary action in Prague at the Worlds. And believe it or not, those six points in seven games ties him with Connor Bedard for third on Team Canada. I know, pretty crazy. It's only Dylan Cousins and John Tavares who have more points than Manjapani at the moment. He's such a great all-round player, Cousins said. He's so smart with the puck and at winning battles and finding open guys. I just try to get open and he finds me. Oh baby, Manj the delivery man. It's been an instant chemistry with Manjapani, tied for third in team scoring, serving as catalyst. Manj and Bunce have a real good chemistry off the ice, said Andre Tourigny, who doubles as Canada's coach and bench boss in Utah. That's the way it starts, and I like the chemistry between Manj and Cuzzy. That was one. I like the line. I think they have good chemistry. They play well in the Ozone. They see each other. They think alike. I think it's important in this tournament. You need to have players that can see each other, feel each other, think, al think alike a little bit. And I think they do. Great quotes here. Could we see a, you know, Manjapani and Bunting reunion at the NHL level or a Manjapani and Cousins reunion at the NHL level? Let's bring on Bunting and Cousins to the Flames. No, I think if this really were to happen, Manjapani would be the one getting traded to either Buffalo or Pittsburgh. Well, I guess we'll kind of have to see about Michael Bunting. It'll be interesting. But either way, I don't really see the Flames picking up Bunting or Cousins. I'd love to have Dylan Cousins. I love his game. I love what he is about. But I can't imagine him coming to Calgary. And I know a lot of Flames fans after last season want to see Manjapani traded for as much as he possibly can to really, you know, kind of commit to this retooling. As great as Manjapani has been in the past, maybe not this last season, but definitely a few seasons ago now, um, it is time to maybe move on from his type of player. We'd rather have some more size. I know Manj kills penalties, but I know a lot of people do want that size and more perimeter type players than a catalyst, even though that's what he's doing really well for Team Canada. Now let's wrap up this video with the comment of the day. And this one involves the past two videos here on the channel which of course involves some Jonathan Huberto trade rumors. I can't believe those are going so crazy right now. How is that what is spinning in the rumor, the rumor mill right now? But I like this comment as well about Hubie. It comes from user Agent00Puffball. Great name. Hubie cares a ton about this team and is well-loved in the locker room. The Flames are going to need players like him to help mentor the young guys coming in. Plus, he could still figure it out if we find the right guys to play with him. Dubois has already been on three different teams and seems to be toxic. No chance I do this trade if I'm Calgary. Now that one obviously involves more the Huberto for Pierre-Luc Dubois. Somehow that's a rumor. Um, definitely saying no to that one. Um, but I really like here that Huberto, you know, you can tell he cares. He has the passion. He was PO'd when he was benched and he was disappointed in himself. And what did he do? He grinded and he did get better as the season went on. In 2024, he was absolutely stupendous. Um, after the All-Star break, even better. Um, and it's great to see that he's picking up his game a bit. Hopefully he can keep that rolling. And in no way is he a toxic player. The guys love him. He's great for the locker room. And he could be a great leader for the future generation that will hopefully take the Flames to the promised land and the Stanley Cup. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like what you saw here today and have a wonderful rest of your day.